Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Alfred from Practical Code Academy. Welcome to a new video in our HTML and CSS course. I'm going to open the course folder here. And in today's video, we're going to go over lists and we're going to explain how uh, HTML lists work. So I'm going to create a new folder for today's topic lists. I'm going to open it with Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create a new file here. I'm going to call it index. HTML. And as I showed you before, you can create a boilerplate using Visual Studio Code Emmet by pressing exclamation mark and press tab. And that will give you the doc type, the head and the body tags, and also the meta tags that require for your page. I'm going to change the title here HTML lists. And when it comes to HTML lists, you have three main types of lists. An ordered list, and we have an ordered list, and we have a de definition list. So definitely the difference between an ordered list and ordered list is the order. Is the order matter in your list or not? If it doesn't matter the order, then you definitely use the unordered one. And if the order is matter, you gotta use the ordered list. The tag that you're gonna use is UL, which is short for unordered list. So I'm going to open my tag here, unordered list, and then closing tag for the unordered list. So this is will give a definition, where is your list start and what is your list end. But inside your list, you have to add items. So to add an item in your, inside your list, you need the li tag, which is short for listed item. So I'm going to open li here and also close it. So now between the opening tag and closing tag, I can start insert my items. So for that, I can add item one. So now my list have only one item. And let's take a look how it's gonna look in the browser using the live server. I'm gonna close all this, open it with live server. As you can see, the browser now understand that this is a list because we put it between the ul tags and the default that the browser showing the an order list using this uh, bullet points here and it's also given some margin here and in or indentation i can add more to my list by opening a new li here item two and close my li tag and also I'm gonna put a comment here saying that this is on order list. Now the question is, can you nest items? Yes, definitely you can. So I have a list here. I can add here another on order list tag. Close it. So technically it's a list inside the list. Save it and I need to put the item inside it. So I'm gonna open a new li tag or list item tag, closing the list item tag here and I'm putting item 2.1. And as you can see now, it get indented underneath the item number two, indicating that this is like a nested list. And you can definitely add more here. So I'm gonna copy this down, I'm gonna do 2.2. And after this nested list, I can add more list items here. I'm gonna call it item three. And as you can see, you here it's pull points, and now here is adding circles for the nested uh, uh, lists inside the list. The second type will be the order list. For the order list, it also will be uh, will take in the first letter of the order and the first letter of the list, which is gonna be OL. So I'm gonna use an OL tag and I'm gonna closing my list here. I still need to add the items. So in that case, I'm gonna start putting my items using the LI tag, opening my LI tag, putting item one, closing my LI here. Let me put a horizontal line here, putting HR, since so it's an order list, it will number them. So this is item number one. It will put the number next to it. I can copy this guy, 
and add as much as I want as listed items. So this is item two, three, can go four, doesn't matter, you can add, add as much as you can. And now you have four items here. Okay, there's a couple attributes you can use with the OL or the order list tag here. I'm gonna show it to you. The first attribute is the type. So if I put type here, it will define the type of numbering system you wanna use. By default, it is uh, numbers. So the default is just one. As you can see, it will make them numbers. However, I can use letters too. So I can put a capital, and now they're gonna number them using capitalized letter. I can put a small, they will uh, numbering them using uh, lower cap letters. I can put I, which in that case is gonna be Roman letters or lowercase Roman letters. If I put I cap, it's gonna be the uppercase Roman letters. You can also nest a, nest a list here. So I'm gonna come in between here after uh, the second item. I'm gonna open another OL. I'm gonna do item 2.1, put the LI tag, item 2.1. And as you can see here, it, it will number it as one. And, and unless I specify the type here. So I'm gonna specify the type to be A. Then I can put another list item here. Now I'm gonna do the, this 2.2. And this is how you can nest them uh, order list inside an order list. You can also nest an order list inside an order list. So for item number three here, after it, I'm gonna add an order list, which is list item item 3.1 gotta copy that 3.2 and as you can see here you have unordered list where the order is not matter inside an order list another attribute you can use it was order list is a start attribute so i can do start and to demonstrate that i'm going to put it back to numerical so i'm going to change the i to one so this is will give me the numerical numbering I can make the start or force it to start not just by one. As you can see by default, it starts from the number one and then goes on two, three, four. But using the start attribute, you can force it to start from a specific number. For example, if I wanted to start from 50, and if I save that, as you can see, it's gonna start from 50, 51, 52, and goes on. Because I force it now using the start attribute to start from a specific uh, number. That's it for the order list. Now we're going to go over the description list. I, I Sometimes I call it definition list because this is actually what it is. It's just definitions. So I'm going to create a comment here. Description list. And to create a description list, you need a DL tag. So I'm going to close the DL tag here. And it's not the same as the other list where you use the LI or listed item in both of them. Here, you have to use first the DT tag, which is short for description term, which is the, the name that you want to define. And I close it. So for the description term, I can put HTML. Let me put a horizontal line here also as well. So I put the description term. Now I need to put the description data. So I'm gonna use the DD here, where the data of the HTML means. So in that case, it's gonna be hyper text markup language. And as you can see, here's the description uh, term and here are the description data. Think about it as an, inside the dictionary where you have a word and the description of this word. Uh, this is pretty much similar. It's not, it's not numeric or it's not non-ordered or ordered. It's just a term and you de describe this term. 
uh, we can copy this one guy here. Copy it here. And we put here CSS. Cascading style sheets. And as you can see here, you're also going to have the term and the data for it. Well, that's it, guys. Uh, I hope you liked today's video. And in the next video, we're going to go over tables. I wanted to break the, the, the videos between lists and tables because many, many topics inside tables like call span and row span and how you can span columns and how you can span rows inside a table. But however, that's it for today. I hope you liked today's video. And if you do like it, hit the like button. I'll see you next video.